Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful time of year because it is corn season. And today I'm gonna show you my five favorite flavored butters to bring your corn on the cob to the next level. Whether you're grilling, baking, or boiling your corn, these beautiful butters are the perfect finish for them. What I love about these butters is that you can actually make them ahead of time and store them in your freezer. That way they're ready anytime you need them. First up, we are making a beautiful herbed goat cheese butter. I love this butter because it's got the tanginess of the goat cheese and of course all the flavors of fresh summer herbs. You are absolutely going to love it. Basically what we're doing is we are taking a quarter cup of butter. Now all our ingredients are at room temperature, that's just going to make your life a little bit easier. To our butter, we are going to add some goat cheese and then some fresh thyme and rosemary. Now I feel super blessed right now because my in-laws have the most amazing vegetable garden and it is just bursting at the seams with these delicious fresh herbs. If you don't have fresh herbs on hand, don't sweat it. You can totally use dry. They'll work just as well. We're gonna hit that with a little bit of pepper. I'm using salted butter so I'm not gonna add any additional salts, but if your butter's unsalted, you may wanna salt it. And then it's just a matter of mixing it up and spreading it all over a beautiful ear of corn. Next up, maple mustard butter. I love this butter because the sweetness of the maple syrup really works well with the tanginess of the grainy Dijon mustard. So couldn't be simpler, we're using salted butter, a quarter cup, to that we're adding a splash of maple syrup and some mustard. Yeah, it's that easy. A little bit of pepper and you are off to the races. This is so delicious. And the sweetness of that maple syrup really works beautifully with the sweetness of the corn. How about some sweet barbecue butter? Yeah, you're barbecuing your corn and then you top it with some sweet barbecue butter. Outrageous stuff. We're starting with our salted butter. We're going to add a couple tablespoons of a really tasty barbecue sauce and then just a quick hit of brown sugar. You don't have to overdo it here. We're gonna mix that all together and then spread it on basically anything. Not only does this butter work beautifully on corn, it also works on baked goods like scones or toast or even cornbread. That's actually my favorite. For those of you that love the heat, I've got a sweet and spicy sriracha butter. Oh my God, what isn't better with sriracha? So all I'm doing is taking my softened butter, I'm going to add a little hit of sriracha and then some honey. Finish it off with some garlic powder. The combination of sweet and heat in this butter is absolutely perfect for corn on the cob. And for those of you who enjoy a little Creole action, I have some delicious Cajun butter. Now this is super simple. We have our butter. I'm going to add some Cajun seasoning. Now, if you don't have Cajun seasoning, you can totally make your own. I've included my recipe for Cajun seasoning in the description below, so be sure to check it out. And then we're just gonna add the juice of half a lime. This is just gonna brighten up the flavors and just make it extra delicious. I hope these delicious butters inspire you to eat a whole lot of corn on the cob this season when it's fresh and delicious. And remember, these are great for more than just corn. You can spread them on baked goods or even melt them down and put them on popcorn. Oh my God, the possibilities are endless. For more great corn videos and recipes, be sure to check out the links below. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek for lots more deliciousness just like this.